Hey everyone, so uh, today I want to show you how you can easily find the area between the curve using a calculator and um, just knowing some simple tricks that will save you a lot of time so you don't have to retype things over and over and over again. So first off, when you're trying to find the area between the curves, okay, so area between curves, you want to always just make sure that you're doing the integral from A, your lower bound, to B, your upper bound, of the top function minus the bottom function, and we're gonna say these functions are in terms of x, so we'll call this dx here. Okay, so this is gonna be our formula. Now look at the problem that we have here. It says, let r be the region bounded by the functions f of x equals x squared minus three, and g of x is equal to negative four x squared minus seven x, as shown in the diagram below. Find the area of region r uh, using a calculator and round your answer to the nearest thousands. Okay, so to make this really, really easy, what we're gonna have to do is get our intersection, our lower bound for the region, which is gonna be A here, and then our upper bound for the region, which will be our B value here. Then we just have to take the top curve minus the bottom curve. Well, in that region, the top is gonna to be the higher curve here. So that's gonna be this downward facing parabola, or in this case, that's gonna be the G of X curve here. So we're going to take g of x, which is our top function, and we're going to minus our bottom function, which obviously then has to be the upward facing parabola, or f of x here. Now to make this really easy, let's get those intersection points. And we're going to do this right in our calculator. So to get these intersection points, we're going to go to y equals, and we're going to go ahead and graph this. Now I like to put the top function as y1, so I'm gonna put g of x as y1. So y1, we're gonna do negative four x squared, uh, squared and then uh, minus seven x. And then under y2, we're gonna put our bottom function, or f of x here, which is x squared minus three. Now, I'm doing this in the TI-84 calculator, so this calculator strategy will work for the TI-84. Um, there's variations of it for the TI-89. Um, I'm not sure about the Inspire, but this video is gonna be specific for the TI-84 calculator. Okay, so what you can do then is you can just go ahead and graph these points, or graph these equations, I should say. And you're gonna come up with the exact region that we had right here. So now to get those intersection points, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit second and trace, which is calc here, and I'm going to go down to number five where it says intersect. So now it's going to ask you the first curve and the second curve. Basically, just hit enter twice. Okay. And then it's going to ask you for your guess. Now, the guess, I'm going to go to the left, start with this A term here. You're going to hover over roughly where they intersect and click enter. Okay. Now it gives you an X value, which is negative 1.744. Now, instead of writing that whole number down and trying to remember it, okay, we're just going to go ahead and store that here. So if you actually just hit second and mode and quit out of this, we can store that value under A. So I can click store, and then to get the A, that's under math in green. So I'm gonna hit alpha and then math. So store it as A and click enter. And you'll see there's the X value stored as A now. So anytime I type in A, it will be that value. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing for B here. So I'm gonna go back to my graph. I'm gonna hit second, calc, we're gonna to go to intersect again. And again, first curve, second curve, it'll jump lines there, so you just hit enter, enter. The guess, now we're gonna get that B value. So I'm gonna to hover towards the B intersection, click enter. And now that's at 0.344, yada, yada, yada. So again, I'm gonna store that and quit out of this. I'm gonna hit second mode. Then I just click store. And now I'm gonna to go to B here. So alpha and then apps for B. So now again, anytime I type in B, it will be this number. Okay, now this is really easy here because all we have to do is type this right into our calculator here. So I'm gonna hit math and then you can hit nine or you could scroll down to number nine where it says fn int. Okay, it will pull up the integral here. Now we can just say from A to B, so alpha A to alpha B. And then also we don't have to retype the functions either. We already have them stored under Y1 and Y2. So if I click on vars here and go to y vars and click function, okay, we can select y1 
minus, and then do the same thing, vars, y vars, function, and then do y2, because our bottom function we put under y2. And then just type in dx. And guess what? It gives you the answer, which is 7.587 when we round that to the nearest thousandths. So 7.587, and you just did that all in your calculator there, and you're done. Okay, if you are going to do this on the um, AP exam, just be a little bit careful. You need to write down the values at least once for A and B. Okay, so you could say, as long as you write down on your test, let A equal, and we wrote down the full value of A, which you can just copy down here, and you write down this full number, okay, negative 7.4, uh, oops, no, 1.7, right? Yeah, negative 1.744, negative 1.744030651, was it? 651. Okay, as long as you write that down once, then any time you refer this, you can just write an A in there, as long as this let statement is in here. So you have to write let A equal, let B equal, and then you can put A and B in there, as long as you have it written down once. All right, but that's a very simple way to just use your calculator to get the area between the curves.